Hey guys, what's up? I'm Shin0525, back with making another how to draw video. I know it's been forever, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, this is actually going to be uh, quite a complicated how to draw video, mainly because uh, there's a lot of details in this one. So, uh, I'm just going to get right into it. Um, I think someone requested this, but I didn't write it down. So, I'm sorry. So, if you actually requested this video, uh, leave your name in the comments. And, um... I will put it in the video annotations like right about now, but sorry, I did not write your name down. I think whoever requested this, and I couldn't find it again. But I'm pretty sure someone requested how to draw um, Scourge the Hedgehog from Sonic uh, the Comics. Um, yeah, this is what he looks like. This is the picture we're going to be drawing today. As you can see, it's fairly complicated, so I'm just going to jump right into it. And again, I actually have two hands because my camera's on the tripod, and I can do this now. Hi guys, so let's begin. Again, um, Scourge is actually an evil Sonic, so what you're going to want to start out with is just drawing like a normal Sonic. So basically, you do the same steps. You start off with the little C, and then you go up. And just draw his eyes. Again, I'm not going to go too far into detail and how to explain this because I did make a how to draw Shadow and Sonic and um, Silver and it, they all follow this um, way of drawing so again very very similar so I'm assuming you guys pre-watched those videos so you know how to draw this and it, it's quite simple you just draw um, start off with a C you go up around Okay, now we're going to draw his muzzle, which is, you just kind of do like a little upside down, or like a little bump, and then you just go and connect the bump with the end of the eyes, and now this part, um, it's a little bit different, what you're going to want to do is start here, and go really far down, like this, and then just kind of, uh, loop it back over here. I know it might look weird now. Or how about let's just draw the mouth in just to make it look good. So what you're gonna want to do is draw a little curved line like this and then draw another line like this. This is gonna be a smile. Then start about here. Um, not at the end of this line, a little bit before it. And then you're just gonna draw a curve line. And when you get a about here, you're going to draw another line that actually follows this curve, so it's going to go in like this. And now for his teeth, he actually has spiky teeth, but I just like drawing one spike, so what you do is you just draw a line following these lines, and then you just draw a little spike, and then you just draw the rest of the line like this. So it shows he has one spiky tooth. Okay, um, now we are going to draw his uh, nose, which his nose is actually facing forward, so it's actually just going to go out like this. It's going to be like a big blob right there. And then you're just going to draw another little circle in there. And you can color it in if you want. There. That's his nose. Now his eyes, they are going to be, again, again, he's looking like straight forward, so start somewhere in the middle and just draw um, a little U-shape, the same thing over here, just draw a little U-shape again, and then he just has one like little half circle here, and then you draw the pupil, which is again just follow the shape you made. And here, the, I guess you could draw the little um, light reflection right there. And then, uh, again, draw the pupil. Almost exactly the same steps as drawing Sonic so far. See, he kind of looks a little bit more mean. Okay. Um, now we're going to draw... I just like to draw the his eyebrows like this, but don't worry about it because his sunglasses cover them. It just helps me... Um, keep the picture in order like this okay 
Now we're going to draw his ears, which are actually quite big. They are, you would start about here and just draw a curved line like this and then draw another line going down like this. So you make like kind of a big triangle. You do the same thing on this side. We just draw a big line going up like this. You can kind of curve it and then just draw another line going down to make kind of like a triangle with no bottom. And then you draw a triangle actually in the ear. And then you start off on this little edge and just go in. Same thing over here. Another triangle. And then line going in like that. Okay. And now his big front spike's going to get cut off because, again, I didn't plan this out quite as well. So what you're going to do is just draw a big... Um, this would be his top spike. And then you draw another spike going in like this. Again, it's getting cut off mainly because I didn't paste this picture out as well as my other one. Okay, and now this spike is actually just going to go off like this. By this here. About here. And you can stop like when you hit the edge of the page. Let's draw it going back in. And this spike starts a little bit before this line ends. And then it just goes down and then goes back in. And you could also draw like a little line like this off the muzzle. Uh, just to give the, his head that round shape. And, um, and for this, for the other side, you could just draw a line just going down like this. Kind of like a circle. Don't worry about this area too much because we're going to draw his hand there with the sunglasses. So a lot of it you won't see. Okay, um, actually I just want to fix this line a bit. There you go. I just want to make it more aligned with the, his head. Okay, next we will um, draw his, uh, just his body. Kind of like a rough outline of his body. So what you're going to do is you're going to start about by his lip over here. And just draw kind of like a shape like this. It kind of looks like a jelly bean almost. And then you're going to draw about here for the rest of his body. And again, it kind of looks a little bit like a jelly bean. You can kind of think of it. Kind of like that. Okay. And then I like to draw a stomach on it. So I start about here. Just draw a big circle like that. And now his legs come off of it, so you just kind of work down the shape and then just draw his legs off of it like this. And this leg goes straight down like that. And about here you can kind of just draw another line that follows his leg. Curve in like that. And now this leg actually goes out, so what you're going to want to do is just draw this line going out a little bit and then going down like this and then here you'll just kind of follow it and there you go there's his feet you could actually erase the lines in between here like that okay we're actually going to work on his uh, boots a little bit later so um, now we are going to, he has uh, two scars over his uh, stomach. So what I like to do is just draw two little bumps over here, like this. And then off those bumps, just kind of just draw really jagged, sharp lines to kind of show his scar, like that. Yep, easy enough. Okay. Um, next, we could kind of draw his hand, but again, draw a light because I'll. Or actually, we should draw sunglasses first because I base 
his um his uh left hand off um the sunglasses. So to draw the sunglasses is actually really uh kind of simple. Um, go about like in between where here is, like in between his eyes, and just draw a, kind of a straight line like this, and then draw another straight line above it. You make it somewhat thick, like that. I'm actually going to turn the paper. And then you just kind of do like a glass shape, which is just like these two straight lines, and then it goes up. And then you just kind of follow it with this one. You just kind of make a shape like that. Again, try to like think of what glasses look like. And these are like big sunglasses, so... They're not like reading glasses, so you can make them kind of a cool looking shape. Kind of like that. Actually, you can make them a bit wider. And then what you can do is just erase all that's inside the glasses. Because, again, it won't be showing because the glasses are above it. Okay? And then what you do is you just kind of follow the shape. Again. Like that. And you can also draw another little line like here to give uh, like a detail line. Okay, and if you want, you could put little details on it, like start about here, do a little um, circle shape to connect the glasses. Because again, they're sunglasses, so you can get kind of fancy with it. So you just draw like a little um, kind of bump off of it, like this. Oh, can you see that part? like this and you can just draw another little bump about here and again you can erase what's inside there make it look clean okay and now you can just draw the light reflections in the glasses which it's easy you just draw a big half circle over here with another little circle and then a circle smaller than that circle and then here you draw a big circle, and then when you get in the middle, you draw another little circle off of it, and you just finish it. So it's like a circle with another circle like coming off of it. And you can just draw like a curved line like this, make like a little almost rectangle shape right there. Okay, and this is the weird part about Scourge is... Uh, the mystery of how his glasses stay on because what you could draw because like the um, handles of the glasses actually don't go on his ears they just kinda just shoot off somewhere but apparently they could still stay on his head so what you can do is just draw like a big rectangle shape you can get kinda fancy with the design again they're sunglasses so like that Okay, now we can draw um, his hand over here, which it's not too complicated. What I like to do is draw a big rectangle like this. This will give the shape of the fingers. And then off this rectangle, um, I just do like a line like this, because this is going to be his thumb. And again, don't be afraid to make the hands really big. And it's hard to explain the shape, it's just, you do like a really circly, like almost a circle, and then you just kind of go into the thumb, and you just draw a big uh, thumb like that. And now for the hands, what you're going to do is you're just going to draw like kind of line straight down for the fingers. Um, give them enough space apart. And then for this finger, you're going to start about the end of this line. Draw a nice curve line like this. This is going to be his pinky, so it's going to be one of his smaller fingers. And you just kind of go off of it like this. Just kind of connect the lines. And then for the knuckles, I actually start here. 
There's still little humps where the fingers are. Like that. And then just draw like a circle that connects to this thumb. Just kind of like that. Yep. Then you could draw the little, uh, erase the little uh, rectangle shape I drew prior. Like that to clean it up a little bit. His one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. Good. I thought I drew an extra finger. Okay. Um. Next, we can draw his other hand. Oh wow, this is already 15 minutes. Pretty long video. Um. This hand. So basically, how I draw this hand is basic. Basically, going right off the glasses. So what I do is I just draw like a curve line like this. This is going to be one of his fingers. And just go up. And then you go down. Kind of like this. And again, this might take a lot of uh, like fooling around with to make it look right. Because again, I'm just going off of uh, the hand, so there might be a lot of uh, like erasing and fitting things in. So basically what you do is you just draw a big circle like this, half circle, and then you just kind of go into the rest of the finger, you curve the line back in, go down, and then about here, you're going to just draw a straight line like this, and kind of draw the shape that you did for these fingers over here, and just draw it over on this hand. Again, keep the fingers spaced out fairly well. Again, this is hard to explain other than just like draw the hands. <laughs> and then when when you get down to uh, this finger, because again you're only going to draw three because this, this finger's up. So when you get down to the third one, you're going to curve it down like this, and then draw an, it going up like this. And then another kind of curve line, just to kind of show the fingers bent. And again, you're going to put little knuckles here. Um, you can kind of go off these lines. Don't connect them. But uh, just make them go down. And then make little bumps. And then for this, what you're going to want to do is go down. Just like that. And kind of connect it to the end of the pinky. And now this thumb, it kind of goes out a little bit. Uh, about here and his thumb is holding this part of the glass so again it's actually underneath so you just draw a little shape like this you just draw a little line like that to kind of show it's bent and that's how you draw that hand I know this part's kind of complicated but um hopefully you all understood that Okay, and then after you draw his hand, you could kind of draw his little gloves like this. Again, they're very similar to Sonic's gloves and I think Tails's. So you just draw little uh, kind of check mark shapes and then just connect it like that. Very simple. But um, for Scourge, he actually wears a leather jacket. So what you're going to do is just kind of draw a line like this. And then draw a line from his arm about here. And then make it go up like this. Because again, Sonic character is a huge hand, so don't worry if it looks kind of big. His hands are supposed to be big. So you kind of make your arm off of the hand you just drew. So you just draw a line going down, one like this, curve it up. And now you could actually draw his leather jacket, which is basically you go off this line. And then just draw little spikes coming off. Because his sleeves are ripped. Because he's... Bad guy. I'm going to say something else, but eh. Didn't feel like it. And then you can actually erase a bit over here. I actually erased way too much. I'm just kind of curve it in. Like that. He actually has a little flame on his jacket, so you could draw that. Um... Again, it's just like you draw a half, like a little circle, and then you go off and draw 
like just wavy lines. Draw another one in there. Give him like fire um, shoulder right over here. Okay, and now we're gonna start drawing more of his jacket, which I basically go off here. I just draw like a little rectangle that goes down like this. And then, then you could draw, just draw like a normal jacket shape. But Scourge also has um, like a little belt that goes off of it. So what you could do is just kind of make like a really wavy line. And just follow it. And when you get about up to here, you could just draw the rest of his jacket by going straight. And going down. And then just drawing it in like that. Nothing too hard, I hope. And you can draw his little tail coming out of his jacket over here. There you go. Okay. Um, now, you can draw his other... Oh, there's a little circle on this part. And you could erase whatever the jacket's overlapping. So, you'll probably overlap his scars a bit. And stuff like that. So, you could draw a little circle on the little rectangle tag thing he has there and again you'll draw the tag over here which is just a little rectangle like that a little circle in there and then for this hand you could just kinda of draw a little circle underneath it and then just draw like the spikes from his sleeves and his hand just going in like that and if you want you can draw the like the other side of his jacket coming down. You can draw like a little triangle shape right there, like that. And actually just curve it in on the bottom so it looks like the jacket's kind of like folded. Okay. And he actually has a little buckle on uh, this end. So what you do what you do is just draw a rectangle and then like a little rectangle inside of it. That's all you need. Like that. And now, lastly, we'll draw his shoes. Which, what you're going to want to do is just kind of round off the ends over here. And then just draw, like, a little shape like this. That goes around him. That goes around, like, his ankles. And then you just... So you draw like a little, it's hard to explain, you draw like this shape, kind of goes in and then goes around, like that, and then you start on the end, and you just kind of follow it, to give it like another dimension, to make it look three dimensional, and then you just start at the end of that, and then just connect it, I hope I explained that well, it's hard to explain, it's not like a set shape. And then he has little uh, nails in it, so what you do is just draw a circle, two big circles, and then just draw like, a straight line going across, like that. And then you can just draw a, line, a curved line connecting this. And now his shoe's actually f like facing us, so what you're going to do is just draw a big half circle like this. And then you're going to kind of curve the bottom to make it look like a like an oval. And you're going to start about here because he has another metal bar on his shoe like this. Kind of like knuckles. All you just do is a shape like that. And you just go up. And then you draw the little details which is just a line going down like this. Another one. And then a line going down the middle like that. Okay. Then you can just draw the heel of his shoe, which again is just two, almost like a rectangle on the bottom, like that. Okay, this shoe, you're going to draw the same shape, but it's going to be kind of to the side. So what you're going to do is draw a shape like this, and then you're going to go up and around, and then again connect it over here, Then you'll draw the little... Uh, screw and here you kind of go off
But you're going to stop about here and then go down and then draw this side and go down again. Kind of like that. And this shoe's kind of off to the side, so what you're going to do is just draw kind of like a shoe shape. Just get like a really quick outline. Like that. And then when you get far enough away, then you'll just do a really big uh, shoe imprint like this and kind of go up. So it should look like that. Then you could go draw the metal bar by making a little lump off of it and then making a curve line like this and then just connecting the dots or connecting the lines. And then you could, now we actually like see the top of his shoe, so you could actually draw the detail, which is like there's a curved line like this, and it goes up here, and there's another line about here that goes down, then up, and it makes a little triangle at the top over here. And then again, you just finish off by drawing the heel. Alright guys, that's how you draw Scourge the Hedgehog. We finished in... 26 minutes so um yeah this is what the picture looks like again it got a little sloppy but um yeah that's about it um I hope you guys enjoyed he's very similar to drawing Sonic because he basically is Sonic except he has sunglasses leather jacket and um different shoes so um yeah alright guys if you want a better look at what the picture would look like it looks like this uh, much cleaner, much more uh, well drawn out. But, um, yeah, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, this was How to Draw a Scourge the Hedgehog from the Sonic Archie comics. I hope you enjoyed. And, um, yeah, if you have any comments, requests, um, leave it in the comment section below. And um, I hope you enjoyed. Hey right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm Shin0525, and I will see you guys some other video. Hey right, guys, thanks for watching. Goodbye.